Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff that man cheese as always. Got some run plays for you today out of the Saints playbook. Now, this playbook is typically known as one of the best passing playbooks in the game. It's one of the best passing ebooks that I put out every single year. When people ask me what the best book is for passing, I typically tell them the Saints are definitely one of the options. But today I'm going to focus on some of the run plays because they really have some really great running schemes in them. Uh, and I'm going to show you one today. I mean, I could do more run schemes out of this. The iPhone Close have a really strong run scheme. Um, they also have a really strong run scheme out of the wing stack. Um, there's some really great run play formations, especially out of the gun, which I've also put out in the past. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys one today that I've never put out, uh, at least not from this playbook. I'm going to show you a couple of new plays, and that's out of the single back wing pair. Now, this is a formation that I use a lot in my game plays because it's pretty much in every single book in the game. Uh, and they pretty much all have a stretch alert looky play, except for the Saints. The stretch alert look, if I could add one play to this formation, it would be that. But I really wanted to highlight some of the more unique plays like the power O, which is going to be the first play that I show. So I'm going to set my audibles uh, because the power O is definitely going to be one of them. The dive alert smoke is definitely going to be one of them. Uh, the halfback inside zone is one of the better ones. And then last but not least, I'll go ahead and I'll go with um, the 01 trap. So there's definitely at least four really good run plays in this particular formation, in this particular playbook. Uh, there's a couple of good pass plays as well, but I'm going to save the pass plays uh, for my Patreon and for my Join Now community. So if you guys want to see the full scheme with the pass plays, you're going to have to go over there to check that out. I'm going against random 4-3. Um, and I'm basically going to have to make reads every single play. I mean, that's something that people don't do enough when it comes to run plays. I think a lot of people might look for gaps or lanes or holes or whatever. But reading the defense like you would in a pass play is ultimately going to help out. I mean, that's really one of the things that you have to do. And I don't think enough people do that. Now, this looks like an all-out man blitz, uh, which is perfect for the power O. Because all I really want to do is flip this play with the right stick. I just hit the right stick to the left or, you know, hit it to the right. That's all you got to do to flip the play back and forth. And this is going to basically be your look now when you have a formation like this because of the three tight end set a lot of times the defensive alignment is like off the kilter like you can see right here the second I motion him out it goes back to a normal alignment I'm going to use that against my opponent that's pretty much the point here and that's one of the reasons why I don't even think you can find stretch plays in this formation anymore uh, because there's there's no real um, you know the way that this particular uh, formation sets up you can only really find stretch alert lookies that you can't flip the play and I think it's because of this uh, it's this setup that I'm showing you right now because it's kind of it's kind of a cheat code based off of the fact I mean that guy got kicked out way further than I was expecting but you can see there's nothing really over here and that's kind of the point the formation is really kind of cheating the defense and that's all based off of the fact that you don't really have um, you know the ability to control that on the defensive side you can make some shifts a lot of times certain formations you can't even shift back to normal on your own like this formation right here I can tell it's not on its normal alignment until I allow it to be which is really a tough call for a defense uh, when you can't even control your own defensive alignment uh, but that's you know that's 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 the power of this formation so I'm gonna go ahead on this play I mean I have a lane right in front of me I'm not gonna overthink it this is really a good look the power O can really be used like a stretch and this looks like a cover three maybe a blitzing off the side so I can still use use this as like a stretch play which is one of the things that makes this play so successful is you have that ability you can really go either way but like i said it's really to me i'm really using it like a, a kind of like a, a counter player like a stretch play just based off the fact that i'm controlling this defensive alignment now a lot of times that guy's getting kicked out which i'll take you can see it's i'm having a lot of success with it but a lot of times you just have to run to the edge this play is super rare, by the way. The Power O is only in two playbooks in the game. It's in the Saints and the Steelers. The Steelers has a really good variation out of this as well. They have a counter play that the Saints don't have. Uh, but I'm showing the Saints because they have four good run plays. They just have one more good run play than the actual Steelers do. So this is, uh, you know, like I said, super rare. Definitely worth putting in your custom book if you don't have that. Uh, the next play that I would run probably the most would be the halfback inside zone. And I'm really just making the same read. Typically, I want to run this when there's like a gap right where I'm going. But this is a play that could also be run outside. So it still has success whether you have that gap or not a lot of times. That didn't really work out there. But this is pretty much going to be the look. So like right here, this is something that's a smaller gap. But once that guard passes off, I really can get a lot of good runs uh, to the left side here. And it's, there's no real pulling guard. So I don't have to wait for a blocker to develop or nothing like that, which is something that I like. 
um, you know, which is something that, you know, you can you can definitely use. I mean, right here, they're kind of stacked to that side. I wouldn't necessarily suggest running it to this side because that's not really the look. But if you get a look like this where you have a big gap like that, the O1 trap is going to create a lot of space. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. The only thing I don't like about the O1 trap is that you do get, you have to wait for this motion, which a lot of times will give your opponent a little bit more time to set up what they're trying to do. But you can see if you have a big gap like that, that's going to be the best inside run. The other run's more like an outside run. So anytime I sink, I, I, anytime I, I can run this two different ways. If there's a huge gap there, which here there's not, or if they're just basically, uh, they're, they're aligned, like I was saying, when it comes to the power row. This way they're aligned. It's not as good as the power row. The power row is better, but I want to show some of these other plays. So the halfback inside zone, I can take this to the edge a lot of times. That's kind of the look right here. And a lot of times I got to go through that door, no matter whether it's a small lane or not. I got to go through that first. And then the last play is the dive alert smoke. But you can see, once again, we have a lane right over the middle there. I could really use this either. I could use this both ways. I could either take this dive or this looks like a cover three which would be a good play to thomas now thomas isn't necessarily the receiver that i want uh but you can see that was actually a man cover i just kind of just juked him and went up the field but uh if it's a cover three or cover four once again and that guy's playing off that's going to be the best look otherwise like i said if you have a lane like this is a pretty good lane right here it's just a man-on-man -man block which in my opinion isn't as good as the l1 trap but it's something that you can definitely take so here's another scenario we're going to go ahead we're going to do the uh we're going to do that dive alert uh, screen because I really think that this is something, as long as the cornerback's playing back like he was there, you can steal that all game. So that's always part of your read structure. You're always, when it comes to these plays, you're always looking, can I flip this first? Do I have outside containment? Do I have outside leverage? And a lot of times, because of the way this formation is, that left tackle is going to be steamrolling a, a linebacker, which is perfect. That's your first read. Your second read would be, a, a lot of times, if you want to hit that screen, is that cornerback playing off? And he is. You can see right there, he just drops off. And it's just, this is something that you can just take all game. And it's going to keep your opponent honest to the point where they can't really, um, you know, overcommit to the running game. Now, you're, you're, another one of your most important reads is going to be this gap. So, like I said, you have three main reads for these three plays. Uh, the Owen trap is really best for cover twos or any scenario where there's really um, a lot um, a lot of large gaps. Like, I can run the Owen trap here, too, because there's a lot of, a lot of lanes that will be uh, exaggerated once these blocks set up. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. I mean, this is definitely something that, uh, you know, if you don't have a tight packed alignment, the L1 trap is going to be best. Uh, and then you're making a, set, a space read when it comes to either the halfback inside zone, which I can take outside on a formation like this. I can run this if that if that edge seals. I don't necessarily need that gap. Uh, but there's just so many different ways this play can work. I hope I explained it well because I don't know if I necessarily did. But I'm going to go to my end of the video there because I don't want to just keep repeating myself. I hope you guys get it. But there's definitely four great run plays here. Uh, I'm going to put some passing plays up as well. If you guys want to see them on YouTube, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.